Hey everybody, Zach from Primrose Productions Music here. I'm back today with the next video in our music release prep series. If you watched the last couple of videos, you saw that we went over how to make your album artwork with a couple of free pieces of software. And we talked about uploading your album to an online distributor so it can get into all the online stores and streaming services. We use DistroKid, but there's a bunch out there. If you haven't seen those, go back and watch them. But today what we're gonna be talking about is getting some press for your music, building a buzz around the release so you start getting people to notice your music immediately. What a lot of people don't understand is that the first 24 to 72 hours of your album's life on Spotify are really important. If you're not getting streams in those first couple days, they're just gonna bury your work. They're not gonna show it to anybody, but if you are getting streams in the first couple days, they're gonna help you and they're gonna promote your stuff and you're gonna see your streams grow exponentially. So what can we do to get the most streams in those first couple days? Especially if you're an emerging artist, it might be difficult to get a lot of streams early on. So we're gonna talk about a couple ways to do that. The first is going to be submitting your music to Spotify playlists via Spotify for Artists. And the next is going to be Submit Hub, which we can use to submit to things like blogs and things like that. So anyway, let's jump right into it. Check out what we can do. Okay guys, so last week you saw us upload our new track to DistroKid to get into all the online stores. Here's the track right here, my own featuring Dave Swillam. So now we need to talk about how to get in front of people. and. Obviously, this is a normal route to sharing it on your social media, sending it to your friends and your family and whatever, but how do we get people that you don't know personally to listen to your music? Uh, so we're going to talk about two great tools here. The first one is Spotify for Artists. You can see we're on my artist page. Basically, what Spotify for Artists is, it's, a, it's an extra section of Spotify for people that have released music. So... You get all this stuff, you get analytics about, like, here's just an overview of my profile, that's my last release, and I have zero monthly listeners, as you can see here, because I don't really promote my music that much, and the, uh, because that was the first single that I released under my own name, it didn't allow me to uh, promote it the way that I can do with this next song. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so Spotify for Artists uh, gets a bunch of an analytics and stuff. Uh, the thing with this is if you haven't released a song yet, on, if you don't already have a song on Spotify, you can't sign up for an artist profile, so you won't be able to do this. So if this is your first song, then you're going to have to wait until your track hits stores and ends up in Spotify. Then you can go make a Spotify for Artist profile, and then on your next release, you can do what we're gonna do here. But anyway, so what we wanna do with Spotify for Artists is get our new release into Spotify playlists. They have this whole thing that allows you to submit your new music to playlists. And yeah, you need to submit it before the actual release date. So if you set the release date for like today, then you're not going to be able to take part in this kind of a thing. You need to upload your track as early as possible. That's why we uploaded ours exactly a month before it was going to drop. That gives us time for all the services to process the tracks, specifically Spotify. And yeah, so anyway. So to do this, we want to go to the Music tab. And this shows things that I've released already. But there's also this little tab here called Upcoming. So, there it is. There's the new song, because it's already been uploaded, and it's ready to drop. Just, they're waiting for the release date, which is the 29th of May, 2020. So, in the meantime, we have this, Playlist Pitch. Get heard by our editors, and yeah, so obviously Spotify, there's a bunch of people that do a playlist on Spotify, but there's a lot that Spotify specifically oversees. So this is going to get you pitched to those, and obviously because they're Spotify curated playlists, they're going to be promoting those more. And the whole idea is, if you get your song into one of those playlists, then those are playlists that thousands of people are listening to. So they'll hear your track, 
because it'll just come up in the playlist that they're always listening to. And hopefully they'll like it and be like, hey, who are these guys? And they'll go check it out. So, like, a lot of people don't know that the first 24 to 72 hours of your song's life really determine how much Spotify pushes them in the long run. If you're not getting a lot of listens in those first couple days, they're not going to push your track to anyone ever, which is why the playlist is so important, because the second your song drops, it drops into one of these playlists and people are listening to it right away. So you can get thousands of listens on your track. And once your track is getting that many listens that quick and hopefully getting good responses, then Spotify will just start to naturally push your track to more people. So anyway, let's get started. So we'll hit pitch a song. Right, and we come to the screen. Uh, I haven't done this before with Spotify for Artists, so this is new to me. We're just going to go through it together, like I said, because it doesn't let you for the first track you drop because you can't make a Spotify for Artists page until you have a song on there already. So this is the first time I'm doing this with the second song I uploaded under my own name. So let's see, what is our song's main genre? Metal. So let's find metal. Right, and it's gonna say choose up to three subgenres. Uh, definitely metalcore. Uh, it's kind of thrashy in the beginning, so we'll say thrash. Uh, that's pretty much it. I wouldn't call it deathcore, actually. No, the the lyrics are kind of. All right, yeah, we'll say deathcore too. <laughs> so. Uh, there's our three subgenres of metal. So that this just helps Spotify figure out what playlist they want to send your song to. And then the people that run those playlists will listen to the song and decide if they want to put it on there or not. And it's really not scrolling well. So then choose up to two music cultures. Uh, it's not really a music culture it's just it's just metal so none of these choose up to two moods uh it's kind of energetic i guess uh we'll say fierce because you know metal uh it's definitely not meditative <laughs> uh it's not necessarily happy oh wait we can only pick two moods anyway so we're already set there uh, choose up to two song styles. Uh, yeah, it's not really any of those. Let's just say traditional. It's traditional for the metal genre. Uh, what instruments are in this song? Okay, this is gonna be easy. Bass guitar, All right. electric guitar, drums. What else we got? Well, that's pretty much it. I guess vocals doesn't count as an instrument. All right, that's cool. Is this a cover? No, it is not a cover. Is it a remix? No. Is it an instrumental? No. Thanks to Dave, he, he dropped some killer vocals on it. And how is it recorded? Studio. What languages are the lyrics in? English. I can type. English. Perfect. Yeah, so that's the main stuff about the song, so then we'll hit next. So I should probably change out my profile picture because that's for the last track. Uh, I have zero listeners because like I said, I, because that was the first track I put up under my own name, I wasn't really able to promote it the way that this is going to allow me to do. So let's tell us a little about myself. Tell us where you're from. What city do you most identify with? Um, can I can I do multiple cities now? All right. Uh, I grew up right outside New York City, uh, even though I now live in Vermont. Uh, and I I don't I don't know. I just even though I love living in Vermont, I feel like a lot of my core personality is still very New York. So, we'll say New York, New York. Describe my song for us, for them. Okay. 
the story behind the song, what inspired it, your plans for promoting it, etc. Right, so this is going to take me a minute to type. I'll probably just skip ahead to when I'm done typing it for you. Alright, so there we go. My uh, little description there. This song is the second in a series of collabs Zach is doing. He writes and lays down the instrumentals himself, then he works with different vocalists to put the final touch on it. Actually, you know, I'm going to add in there this track he worked with Dave Swillam from the band Broadway. He's promoting in multiple ways, mainly his YouTube channel where he's having people follow along with the whole release process to see what they have to do to get a song out into the world. Obviously that's where we are now, you guys are following along with the release process to see what all goes into it. And that looks good, so we'll hit next. And then they just want you to review everything and make sure it all looks good. So yeah, that's the song, that's release date. Metal, metalcore, thrash metal, deathcore, none of these for music cultures. Energetic, fierce, uh, traditional metal, I guess. Uh, language. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to say traditional. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go back and say none of these. Just because I feel like traditional might, to the editor's it might mean something entirely different. So let's just do none of these. Because generally traditional tends to mean like folky kind of. So let's change that to none of these. So song styles, none of these. Language of lyrics, English. Instruments, bass guitar, electric guitar, and drum kit. And it didn't give vocals as an option. Uh, it's not a cover, it's not a remix. It's not an instrumental, and it was recorded in the studio. Uh, the description, which we just read, location, New York, and yeah. So there you go. Uh, it's all submitted. They say right here, we'll let you know if your song gets added to any playlists. You can pitch another unreleased song after this one goes live on Spotify. So thank you, Spotify. All right, so now we're going to go over to the next thing, and that is SubmitHub. SubmitHub is a really cool site. It lets you submit your song to not only things like Spotify playlists, but also blogs, YouTube channels, radio stations, and just a ton of other stuff. So uh, I haven't used this for my own music before. I've used it for other bands I've been in like a while ago. So I made a new account for my current thing, and it says right here, submit a song, but first we need credits. So they see they give you two standard credits to start off with, that's nice of them. And if you hit get more credits, it's going to ask you to pay for more credits. But before we do that, let's just click the credits button, because we want to do this. I want a 10% discount on premium credits. So yeah, uh, background, it gives you a few options here artist blogger label manager other publicist radio artist so save all right and it gives us a discount code save 10 that's only letting me get 10 credits with that discount so i'm just gonna hit get more credits and i'm gonna get 30 credits for 27 dollars because why not five credits wouldn't get you too much 10 credits would be okay probably but then you could only really do a bunch of things that have one credit because I know a lot of people on here only take one credit but some take two and as many as three so just in case let's do 30 credits and yeah okay uh, let's just put my name because I'm an artist for this I'm not doing it as my studio and credit and debit card so I'm gonna have to fill in my credit card information so I'm gonna cut out this whole part of the video because I'm not letting you fuckers steal my shit right, so there we go I got my 30 credits so we're just gonna go and submit a song okay uh, use a link uh, these 
uh, we're gonna upload an MP3 just because the song is not out yet. So let's do upload MP3. Go find it. And so it's uploading our track. It's gonna take a little bit. All right, now it wants the album artwork, so we'll go find that. There we go. So now they have our cover, and it looks like shit because it's been compressed to a JPEG, but whatever. Uh, anyway, can this song be streamed anywhere else? Your song can reach 87% of some of curators. Uh, it's not unreleased. When do you plan to make it public? It's going public on the 29th. May 29th, 2020. The artist is Zach Rose. Song title, My Own. Featuring Dave Swillow. Uh, I'm assuming that's how they want that formatted because that's how all the other, that's how all the streaming services and everything want the song titles formatted, so. Is this a remix or a mashup? No. Is this a cover song? No. Song title is that Primrose, my own featuring Dave Swift. Similar artists. Oh man, I don't even know what what other shitty metal bands are there that it sounds like. I, I, I honestly don't even know. I'm not good at... That's one of my biggest issues is uh, stylistically matching things together. I can't really... I'm really bad at being like, oh, uh, I sound like this band, or you sound like this band, or whatever. So yeah, we're just gonna skip that part. Alright, now uh, what can we tell about this song? We'll pretty much just put the same thing we put into Spotify for Artists. Right, so I wrote pretty much the same thing that I did for the Spotify for Artists. I just wrote, this is the second song in a series of collabs that Zach is doing. Zach writes and lays down all the instruments. Uh, then he works with various vocalists he knows to put the final touches on the tracks. This particular track is in collaboration with Dave Swillum of the band Broadwing, so it's very different stylistically from the genre Dave is usually singing in, but he brought the power with him anyways. Uh, this song is also being used on Zach's YouTube channel, Primrose Productions Music, to, make, uh, to take emerging artists through the entire process of releasing a song. So then when, once that's in, we'll just hit next. Uh, choose an artist profile. You can edit your artist profile and stuff. Okay, so yeah, I haven't made an artist profile on here yet. I just made the account, so we'll just hit create new. Artist name Zach Primrose. Where is this artist from? United States. Finish upload. Alright, what type of credit would you like to use? I'll use my premium credits. So, with the premium credits, you get a guaranteed response within 48 hours, which is awesome. So you will know within 48 hours if your track is going to be used on, well, featured on any blogs or whatever you submit it to. Uh, your submission filters to the top, so obviously there's probably a ton of other people using premium credits, so your song is still going to be sitting along with them, but it'll jump you pretty high up on the list compared to the people using the standard credits. They must listen for at least 20 seconds, so they have to hear a full 20 seconds of your track before they decide if they want to feature it or not, uh, which, I mean, for me, it's kind of unfortunate because I feel like the first 20 seconds of the song are probably one of the weakest parts of the song. The, the end of it is definitely stronger, but, you know, uh, it is what it is, so hopefully they like it. but. Obviously that makes sense that they'll listen to the beginning because if the beginning doesn't catch them then their listeners aren't going to want to listen to it either. So we'll see what happens. And you'll get at least 10 words of feedback if your submission is declined. So basically either they're going to accept your song within 48 hours or they're going to decline to use your song and they're going to tell you why. So you're not going to get any bad reviews out there on your music if they're going to feature it, they're going to give you a good review, and they're going to share it with people and promote it to, I mean, obviously they're not going to like go crazy promoting it, it's going to be like a blog article, but still, if they have enough readers on their blog, then that'll be some pretty good publicity, and if not, if they don't like it, then they'll tell you what's wrong with it, so the next time when you make a new song, you can 
do a better job and give them what they want to hear and give the people what they want to hear. Uh, oh, and if the above conditions are not met after 48 hours, you get your credit back. And... Yeah, and let's, just for comparison, let's see what the standard credits are. Completely free, you can use two credits every four hours, no guarantee of response or feedback. So, yeah, but yeah, we're definitely using premium, because, come on, guys. And who would you like to send to? Blogs, Spotify playlists, YouTubers, SoundClouders, radio? Yes, uh, I don't really want to send it to record labels, because, to be perfectly honest, for my solo stuff, I have no interest in being a touring act. Uh, for my bands, sure, so when I do this with my bands, then I'll definitely want to send it to some record labels, but just for my solo stuff, I'm not trying to get signed. So, we'll skip that, and we'll hit next. How important is the quality of written feedback? Uh, for me, it's really important, because I... Yeah, I just... I, if they don't like it, I want to know what's wrong with it. Especially because, like... As an engineer, if there's something wrong with it that they don't like, it's probably going to be the engineering side of things. So if they don't like it, I definitely want to know what's wrong with it so I can fix it in the future. Uh, and then, but you, if you don't care about the written feedback, if you're just trying to like get a yes or no, then you can do not that important or I don't want feedback. Uh, permissions, copyright. If someone approves this song and wants to upload an MP3 to their channel, for example, it's a YouTube video. Can you give them permission? Want to learn more? Yes, I give them permission, and they can monetize it if they need to, but only on their channel. Yes, I can give them permission, but I should be able to keep anything they earn from the upload. I cannot give them permission to upload this song to their channel. They can only use it, the embeds and links that I provide. Uh, again, I'm a YouTuber, so I'm going to support them. Yeah, they can use it on their channel, and they can monetize it like their video obviously they're not going to sell the track because that's not cool but if they want to use it in their video i i don't care that's totally fine and if and i certainly don't want you to like turn off the ad revenue for the video just because you use my song like that's a dick move especially when i'm the one here asking people to promote it so that would be a serious dick move so yeah they can use it on their channel and monetize the video that's fine all right, now we get into the fun stuff. So, what do we have over here? This is basically where we're gonna find all the different curators. So, this, oh wow, okay, they've changed it a little bit. They used to filter it like completely differently they're used to let you individually choose blogs playlists youtube channels things like that <laughs> looks a little different now so there are some additional filters here you can choose really good bloggers which i mean let's be real it's my second release so choosing really good bloggers they'll probably decline it you want to start with the lower tier and build up so we don't do this is this a premiere request Premieres when a blog debuts your song. Premieres are awarded to the first blog to approve your submission. Uh, no, it's not a premiere request. Has a Spotify playlist. That would be cool. So in addition to the Spotify playlist that we submitted to through Spotify, like those are all the Spotify curated playlists. These are individually curated playlists. So yeah, I would like them to have a Spotify playlist. That'd be cool. I don't know what Hype Machine is. <laughs> I probably should, but whatever. Uh, hide low quality outlets. Hides outlets with a quality score below 4 out of 5. Uh, no, because a, a 3 out of 5 is acceptable to me. If it allowed me to turn off 2 out of 5 and 1 out of 5, I would do that. But I don't want to turn off everything below 4 out of 5. Because 3 out of 5 is a pretty good starting point for an, a quote unquote emerging artist. Uh, response rate above 80%. Hide outlets in weekend mode. Uh, I definitely do want the response rate above 80%. Because I don't want them 
Like, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'll get my credits back if I don't get hear anything, but at the same time, I don't want to waste my fucking time, because there's not that much time before the actual release date, so I need this to happen soon, preferably. And I don't know what weekend mode is, so I'll ignore that. But, anyway, so now we get to go through and see who we want to submit to. Oh, I should probably filter by genre, huh? But definitely filter by genre. So, metalcore, yes. Okay, let's do thrash metal. And... Oh, they don't have a deathcore option, so I'll just say deathcore. That's unfortunate. But yeah, that should be fine. So now we've filtered it like a lot. So yeah, we should be down to pretty much everything. All metal everything. Can I get more details about you? We are looking for heavy metal, trap metal, hip hop, and everything in between. What? How is hip hop metal? Whatever, dude. You're only one credit, so fuck it, why not? Yeah, quality is 4 out of 5, genre match, obviously. Influence, they don't have much influence, but that's fine. I'm not trying to get it in front of like too many people, so sure. I'll spend a credit on you. Calibuth. Songs to be played on Twitch, Spotify, YouTube videos, and live streams. Uh, uh, they got a lot of influence though, but they're also 3 credits, so... Looking for house style? Yeah, we're not house styled, buddy. Not even a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Genre match. High to low. There we go. That's better. Accepting all types of guitar music, rock, grunge, heavy metal, deathcore, metalcore. Alright. 3.7 influence. Pretty good quality. Uh, I got 17.2% approved out of the six, almost 7,000 things they've received, and that's two credits, so sure. Uh, these quick facts has above average engagement on Instagram. Most of their Spotify followers are inactive. That's unfortunate. But they share approved songs quickly. Uh, they usually listen to the song for 90 seconds. That's cool. Anyway, yeah, so you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to go through some of these, and I'll, I'll pick some, and then we'll move on. Alright, so I went through all these. Uh, I was a little disappointed by the lack of metal blogs and such. I don't know, I guess this is more of a pop thing. I mean, it makes sense, that's what I've used it for in the past, is popular music. But, yeah, as you can see, I had 30 credits. I only spent 8 of them. So, but yeah, so we got through that, and now we're gonna hit submit. Confirm submission details, we're about to submit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is cool. They give you an option to give up to a 200 character quick pitch to hopefully get people more interested in them. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But you can if you want to, so submit. All right, and it says successfully submitted. And now, uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch this part, but I'm going to go fill in my artist profile. But uh, yeah, that's submitted. So that is Submit Hub and Spotify for Artists. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I hope you can utilize those tools to get your music noticed faster. I want you guys to be able to get as many streams as possible in those first couple days so your music gets pushed in front of a bunch of more people. Uh, if you're trying to get your band rolling faster, if you're starting out and you're trying to build your fan base, I have something to give you that can help you out. It's my eight steps to getting your band noticed. It's a free PDF guide. Uh, you can check that out. It just goes over everything that your band needs to be doing in 2020 to get your band in front of more people. So just go to primroseproductionmusic.com slash guide and you can download that there. Uh, next week, we're gonna be talking about how to promote your new release with Facebook ads. And it sounds like it's going to be expensive, but you can actually get a lot of reach with Facebook ads for very little money if you know what you're doing. So 
If you want to see that, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when that video comes out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.